animated on some of the best guest characters in the brand's history. And today, we will focus on my favourite. The one who dared to be stupid and taught Ratchet that his words can hurt. Hello, and welcome to Jinxed, where today, we were taking a look at animated Retgar. He is a chunky boy, and that was a staple of the animated line. Despite his chunk, he has so much character and that he's seen in his face. He has a cheeky, childish smirk that would make even Ratchet crack a smile. And his face inside an old TV, which was another genius, genius, not genius, genius move by Wyatt. He comes with two energy blades that store in his backpack. These can attach individually or together. But I keep these in his backpack as he never used them in the show, nor do they actually fit his childish character. Now for articulation, uh, he's, he's not the most puzzle, but then again that was never the main focus of Animated. He does obviously have a head swivel, that's it. Unless you untab the backpack, um, you can make him look down, but you're not really going to get much use out of that. Um, if I could tap it back in, that would also be really nice. Um, yeah, there we go, now he's tapped in. Um, shoulders are on, would you say universals? I think that may be the first use of universals, kind of, I think. Um, not the first, obviously, but he's got biceps of as well. He does have below 90 degrees, that's usually the shape of the arms. He does have opening hands, as a lot of animated figures did, which is really cool. He does have a waist, but obviously... Due to this backpack, it is very limited. Um, it does have universals on the um, legs, thigh cut, more than 90 degree bend at the knee. Um, and he does have toe and heel down, but that's used transformation. Now, you've all noticed, haven't you? And I've also talked about it, the backpack. Without the forks being down... He does often do that a lot, but it's not really a fault of the figure, it's more of the design of the character because he does have a massive backpack in the show, but if you do balance him just right, he will stand fine, even with, you know, the forks not being down, but just for myself, um, I like to keep the forks down, so that way I know he's going to stand. The transformation is incredibly satisfying, everything is hidden within the backpack, with a satisfying, if I can get them lined up correctly, clank. And in the end, we are left with this bin lorry. This is a much better alternate mode for this rubbish part of 86 film than a bike. In this mode, you can lift the forks up manually, or if you want to use these hidden switches, not really hidden, but there, as you can see, right there, you can if he's going to let me now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, these switches do. They are really fun to do. Just a nice sound as well, like when you get them moving. You can actually see them. Um, it's really nice to do. Overall, this is far from the best animated figure. It comes nowhere near Rodimus or Voyager Prime. But I just find myself enjoying him so much. He is so cheerful and full of life that I can't do anything but recommend this absolute idiot. I have been Jinx, and this is my look at Transformers Animated Voyager Class Retgar. Don't forget to check my book out, the link will be in the description. And I will see you when we next take a look at another character from the franchise we all love.